Right before the investors call, Disney has put everybody on notice. Uh, that, that sounded like a threat. Okay, Disney is threatening us with news. There we go, that sounds good. You know, on second thought, some might actually see it as a threat because Disney is the evil empire and we gotta support the little indie guys like WB and Universal and their little indie franchises like the DCEU and the Fast and Furious universe. Gotta support the underdogs. Oh, uh, okay, all joking aside, all threats from Disney aside, uh, Disney did confirm it just recently, like an hour ago, that yes, the Disney investors call today is going to be huge. Huge. Not only is it going to be one of the longest, really, investors calls we've ever heard from anybody, they also did confirm that on top of what was rumored before, that they're bringing pretty much everything they got. National Geographics, everything Disney+, Plus, Disney Animation, Pixar, Star Wars, and Marvel Studios will all be making announcements. Now, just a reminder, I made the video, I think last night it went up. Again, this isn't a presentation. This is not like the E3 presentations where somebody just walks up on stage and dumps info. It's an investor's call. It's literally like a phone call where they just update everybody around the world that's their investors and everybody can, uh, you know, get the info on it. So we will be covering it here whatever happens that's why today's podcast recording did not happen because we're doing that tomorrow because we're anticipating some things here and some things that members of the channel here have heard about that we can't talk about till it's confirmed so we're saving that for tomorrow now i think a lot of the anticipation is going into the heavy focus on star wars which apparently they're ready to just like you know blow a load on everything star wars so I'm all here for it. And then whatever Marvel Studios is doing. My guess is that Marvel Studios is going to announce uh, what projects will guaranteed come out in 2021. What's in development that we know. And maybe a few more confirmations. And maybe a Spider-Man confirmation would make sense because everything is leaking. Now there is some rumors that we could be getting something in regards to animation from Marvel. Specifically like a... Uh, Maybe continuation of older series like the animated X-Men or Earth's Mightiest Heroes or maybe even a complete Marvel animation reboot. Um, we just don't know. I mean, if there was any time to announce something like that, this would be it because this is the investor's call that they're making it very clear that streaming is our future because, hey, theme parks aren't opening, so, you know, F that. So um, it's going to be interesting to see how they come out, what they state what is announced, what is strategically announced, because that's a major part here. Strategically placing things to where they will come out and when, because that will drive subscribers to either go, well, I'll sub for two months and then I'll drop it, or man, I have to sub every month. So just a little bit of time to go. As soon as the news starts dropping, you guys, you know I'll be here in between playing Cyberpunk and tuning in.